And welcome in, everybody. Glad you're with us. MLB The Show brings you Diamond Dynasty Baseball. It's the Washington Nationals taking on the Yankees. All right, we'll be back to get this one started after this. Here's a speed threat, Stone Leading Garrett. The afternoon for Washington, the left fielder, Stone Garrett. The wind of the pitch. That's off the uh -oh, mark, ball. and away we go this afternoon. One ball, no strike. Just missed. Two and up. The wind to kick the 2-0. -oh. And that's in for a strike. One of the coolest moments of Marcus Stroman's career, Chris. He was the MVP of the 2017 World Baseball Classic. Team USA won gold. He took a no-hitter into the seventh inning of the championship game. Really so awesome to see how guys buy into the WBC in spring training. They really take it seriously once they put on that USA uniform. Here's C.J. Abrams to hit. First offering, and it just misses. Good speed on the base pass. He handles the bat very well I wouldn't be surprised if the skipper puts yeah. on some type of hit and run or a run and hit the 1-1 one, one. and now one and two, one and two the count. Garrett aboard here at first with nobody out maybe a two ball five four three and they turn the double play I think there's always something pretty about watching a 5-4-3 double play get turned. I mean, just seeing the ball whipped around the diamond with quickness and accuracy, that was nice. Lifted in the air right center field. Judge getting an angle on it. And that's the inning. And now the big-time power threat, Jason Dominguez. The pitch. Off the mark there. Ball one. That misses off the outside edge. Two balls, no strike. Two and oh to Cal. Here it comes. Ball. And he pumps in a strike. And that's ball four. Ball Pretty four, easy walk right minutes. there. Last pitch wasn't even much to think about. Here's Glaber Torres. Outfield playing down. very Glaber. deep, not wanting anything over their heads. Pitch misses inside. And yeah, that's ball one. one and oh. he's going, he's going. Run around the goal. There's a ball. Throw oh, safe. Good hitters count the 2-0. On the ground. And foul ball. And a pitch. Swing at a ball lifted to center field. Call. Calls it in. And there's one away. Juan Soto now. This one in the air right field. Thomas moving under it. He's got it. Runner tags at second. Throw tag safe at third. Here is Aaron Judge. That hits the dirt and that's ball one. A strike in there. The next pitch misses, and it's two and one. And that one goes straight to the backstop. Two outs. 
And there's ball four. One of the things about that two out walk, the base runner over at first base is going to have a very aggressive secondary lead. So a ball down the line or an into the gap will produce a two out RBI, and those are the best. That is, if you are the offensive side of it. Now the batter now, Oswaldo Cabrera. Next yeah. offering is in for a strike. Oh, this guy's so comfortable hitting with two strikes, even a good pitch early in the at bat. If he's not ready to pull the trigger, he's not oh, worried if he gets to an 0 2 oh. count. They've got him working a little harder in this first frame than he anticipated. And a pitch. Got him. That's the inning. Back here at the ballpark, new inning getting started. Now it's the DH, Joey Manessis. That's in there. It's 0 and 1. Now 1 and 1. Cabrera sends it across the first, one up, one down. And now it's Kiebert Ruiz. And first offering is fouled off. One down, base is empty. Ball. Foul ball there. Kicks and deals. Fouls it off, still one and two. Here comes a pitch. Knocks that one away and we'll do it again. Got him looking down on strikes and he knew it. And now it's Luis Garcia. That misses one and oh. A swing and a miss, one one. and that's strike one. The 1-1 one -one is fouled off. The line to kick the pitch. Fair ball. Well, he found himself behind in the count right there, but he didn't give in. He kind of muscled that one out there, didn't get the barrel with it, but the important part was that he found a way to stay through the baseball and just drop it into center field. Alex Call in the box with two gone, and takes a look at a called strike. Next offering is in for a strike. Perhaps not quite ready to hit. First two pitches by him for a couple of strikes. Now back is against the wall. He's going to have to figure something out and figure it out quickly. And a pitch. That's off That's the mark. Ball. It's a ball and two strikes. One and two. A little bit That's low. Ball, He's low. really tightening up his hitting zone with two strikes here. I love it. The pitch. That one to first. And he grabs it in foul ground. Kicks and fires. Got it by him for the K. Welcome back. And here's the first baseman, Anthony Rizzo. The pitch. A bit behind with that swing. Oh, it's one. strike one. Pitch misses, oh. and it's a ball to strike. And the right hander deals. That one ripped. And off the base of the wall. Safe at second with a leadoff double. Well, that'll make you feel good as a hitter right there. Nice line drive to the pull side, met it out front, but just stayed through it nice enough and ripped it into the outfield. Here's DJ LeMayhew. First offering misses the mark. Chris DJ LeMayhew, given name David John LeMayhew. Some people call him by the nickname the Big Fundy. 
What's the big fundy, partner? Well, it's short for the big well, fundamental well. because he's so good fundamentally, both at the plate and in the field. That misses the zone. Two and one. No outs. Runner on second. Hammer, base hit. Stop sign goes up at third. Runners at the corners. Nobody out. Well, that was one of those high percentage advantage counts where batting averages are just so much higher. Just a solid swing right there. Caught it out front and ripped it into the outfield for the base hit. Those always feel great. Alex Verdugo, the next to hit, takes ball one. He's someone that really beats up on right-handed pitching. The lefties, however, give him a little bit more trouble. And that one fouled off. And here it comes. There's a swing and a drive. That one is gone. A three-run homer, and they add to their lead. It's 4-0. With this guy's velocity, a changeup is really a break for a hitter. He got a BP fastball, didn't move a whole lot, and he absolutely tattooed it. Trent Munson getting ready to hit. That yeah. one's in there, 0-1. It can be tough to bounce back after a big home run, but nobody on, nobody out. You just have to treat it as a fresh inning. Ground ball to the right wow. side, and it goes just foul. 0-2 now. Good eye right oh. there. 1-2. The punch out there, and there's one down. So the batting order turns over, and here is Jason Dominguez. And the first pitch misses for ball one. To the right side, Garcia throws to first, and there's two away. Here comes Glaber Torres. He's 0 for 1. Torres. First pitch doesn't oh. find the zone. One and up. And that one is lifted in the air. And puts the squeeze on that. And that will end the inning. And welcome back. And now the first baseman, Dominic Smith. Stroman back to work. Yeah. In for a strike, going one. And that's one outside. Ball, the one one is fouled off. Left hand hitter waits. Foul ball still, a one and two count. Center field, Dominguez drifts towards it and puts the squeeze on that one. And there's one down. And now up for that Washington, Ildemaro Vargas. Ildemaro Vargas. In there for strike one. On a line, base hit. That pretty much split the zone down the middle, and those are the ones where you got to make them pay. Stone Garrett digging in for the Nationals. Pitch misses inside, and it's 1-0. Good eye right there. 2-0. And a big swing and a miss. Two and one. Oh, that's that slurp right there. He threw it extremely well. He talked about just a ton of breaks. So oh. tough to get that barrel to. Good plate Take appearance the there. Four. Able to take the walk. Up now for Washington, C.J. Abrams. He's 0 for 1. Yeah. 
looking for a strike. And it's 0-1. Here's an opportunity. If you're going to get back in this game, you have to take advantage of this situation. This feels like their chance. One out. Runners at first and second. The 0-2. Swing and that ball smashed on a line. And there's a hit. Dominguez fires it in quickly. Stop sign goes up at third, and the bases are loaded. Back against the wall with two strikes, but found a way. So much of good hitting is finding holes in the defense. That's why you're always thinking line drive into the gap. Those kinds of swings really boost your confidence. Here's Lane Thomas. First offering, and it just misses. Vargas at third. Garrett on second. Abrams over at first. So one, one away. And, one. and there's the strike. Swing and a ball popped up. That's a base hit. Run scores. Throw into third. And he's in there as two runs score in the play. That's three singles in a row. That's a ball that a lot of times you'll see the shortstop or left fielder be able to get to if it hangs up in the air long enough. But right there, it just died and found a way to drop in on the green stuff with base hit. Now here is Joey Meneses. On the ground at first, and he picks it up, and he'll put it in his pocket. At the dish, looking to lift the ball in the air. On the ground, two ball. Over to Torres. And they bounce into two already. This one ends the third. As we go to the last of the third, here's Juan Soto. Wow. And the pitch. It's been a rough start on the mound for this guy. This third inning is so important for him to get on track, turn the page, settle in, do all those things you need to do to give your team a little bit of length in this one. That misses the zone. Two balls, no strikes. Swung on, belted. That one back there. And that ball is gone. He made him pay for that one, and they tack on to their lead. It's 5-2. Power versus power right there, like two locomotives colliding. Who's going to win? Well, a really good job there by the hitter, getting the top hand working. Powers that fastball out of here. Now it's Aaron Judge up to the plate. First pitch nope. just ball. misses. You know, this group of hitters doing a good job of putting the ball into play, and that makes things more challenging on the defensive side. Oh, this one high and deep. Way back there. Feeling for the wall as he makes the catch. Man, I love that route. The ball was smoked. He knew he had to get back to the track right away. Turned his back on the infield. Got to the spot, turned around, and made a nice catch. Cabrera the batter now as he swings and misses for strike one now there's a certain point where you have to commit to what you think you see and he guessed wrong right that one is absolutely belted and it's off the wall and he's got a double all over that one right there when you connect and it jumps off your bat like that you're thinking double at the very least put a great swing on it and man he wasn't fooled at all Anthony Rizzo steps to the plate. Swing and a miss. 0-1. Comes up empty on the swing. 0-2 now. And that's a strikeout looking. Couldn't pull the trigger on a fastball at the knees. And now it's DJ LeMayhew digging in. One for one with a single and a run scored so far. First pitch, not close. You know, Boog, DJ LeMayhew is one of those guys that if you're on the other side and your pitcher's got a no-hitter, he's the last guy you want to see at the plate just because his bat control is so good, he uses the entire field. 2-0 to Cal. Here it comes. 
And the throw gets away. He will score. It's 6-2. Let's see if he gives him anything to hit here. This one popped up. Foul ground first base side. Ruiz pulls it down and he makes the catch. And that is that. Back here at the ballpark, out of the fourth, and it's the catcher for the Nationals, Hebert Ruiz. The right-hander back to work. And he takes a strike. Well, these Nats showing great discipline at the plate, and patience definitely seems to be the name of their game in this one. They're doing a good job no of working ball. the pitch count, Incorrect. and they've been able to push a couple of runs across to score as well. Swing and a miss. Couldn't catch up to the heater. Next to hit for the Nats, Luis Garcia. And he's already singled in this game. That's a strike. Still relatively early, but with the pair of runs already on the board, the ripple effect of that high pitch count might set him up to do more damage later in this game. Righty to the plate. On the ground to the left. Foul, and foul. that's just foul. And he deals. Swings and misses, struck him out. Two outs, space is empty. And now up for Washington, Alex Call. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. There's a swing and a miss. Oh, two. Three. And down on strikes. Nats go down one, two, three. Welcome back. Here's Alex Verdugo. The pitch. And that gets the inside corner for a strike. Verdugo, a former second round pick by the Dodgers back in 2014. And Chris, I think one of the things that people always focus on with him, he was the centerpiece to that Mookie Betts trade between the Dodgers and the Red Sox. The Whoa, next offering high. misses, and it's one and two. Yeah, and many people would say that's a ton of pressure to go into a place like Boston with those shoes to fill. And you know what? He went in there saying he was going to be himself and put up some pretty good numbers. Righty delivers. In the air, out towards right center. Call. Drifts towards it. Hauls it in for the out. Next to hit, Trent Munson. Struck out swinging his first time. Drilled out towards left center field. That's well struck. That's back there. And that one is out of here. He flexes his power with that swing, and they add to the lead. It's 7-2. A good hitter gets pitch recognition early. He saw exactly where that was going to be. The challenge, not get over anxious and come out of your swing. He stayed on it and got all of it. New arm out of the bullpen, Trevor Williams. He's into the game with the bases empty. Number 32, Trevor Williams. So up next, Jason Dominguez. Ball one Go low. Towards first. Oh, can't pick it up cleanly. Now so, man aboard. And now here is Glaber Torres. And first offering is fouled off. Well, he saw that change up really well. Just a little early. Still barreled it. As you see, home run distance just couldn't keep it fair. Here comes the 0-1. Runner on the goal. Ah. That's in for a strike. Throw to second. Great jump. And that is a stolen base. It wasn't even close. The pitch. 
One ball, two strikes. Runner at second here, one gone. Pretty standard high 0-2 fastball right there. If you're smart, you'll look for something down in the zone, but not too. Oh, and now a wild pitch. No advance, though. Next one misses all three. He should get a pretty good pitch to hit here with the three hole hitter coming up if he's walked. Foul ball left side. He'll see another. Next offering is foul back. Three two. Hard hit left field base hit Dominguez around third he scores and it's now a six run lead love how he became a really tough out with two strikes right there nice line drive to the pull side right there but he didn't spin off of it that's the key you still have to extend through the baseball in order to hit a line drive like that and now it's Juan Soto in the air right field pretty well struck and it's gone. Juan Soto goes deep, and they boost their lead. It's 10 to 2. When you're working with this kind of velocity, so critical that you move the ball around, work quickly, and make sure that you keep that hitter off balance. Clearly not fooled by the location or the velocity. He was all over that fastball. It's Aaron Judge now. First offering oh. misses the mark. 1 and 0. Oh. Swings through that one. Man, he really sells the changeup with that arm action. Swings and misses. One and two. Clearly, he was sitting on a fastball right there. It just ended up out in front of the slider. Hey, you can't fault him for his commitment. Now he's just going to have to battle with two strikes. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Couldn't catch up to the heater. Now it's the power speed combo. Oswaldo Cabrera. Drove it off the wall last time. Just missed out on a home run. First pitch, and he just misses. And the righty deals. Comes up empty. One, That's two. strike two. Pitch misses. Oh. Two balls, two strikes. Right hander kicks, deals. Oh. Three two now. Countful. He goes down looking. Ready now for the fifth inning. Up now for Washington, Dominic Smith. The wind and the pitch. That's in there, going one. Clearly down in this ball game, and you can't look at the deficit and try to get it all back in one swing. It's got to come one at bat at oh, a time and, and even shrink it down smaller, pitch to pitch. Make that guy on the mound work to get you out. And that one missing ball. low. One, two. And a foul ball. He stays alive. Spoils the two-strike pitch, and he'll see another. Cuts and misses. It's a strikeout. Here's the third baseman, Ildemaro Vargas. Singled and scored his first time. Oh, and that 
that's in there for strike one. Chris, we were excited to watch him pitch. This is a little more along the lines of what we were expecting performance-wise. Yeah, but great pitchers like this, you may get one opportunity in one inning to get to him, to get some runs up on the board. And if you don't take it then, you may see zeros the rest of the ball game. Popped up. Cabrera makes his way towards it, makes the grab on the run. Two down. So the Nets lineup turns over. Digging in, it's the speedy outfielder, Stone Garrett. That run. one finds the zone. That's strike one. Ah. And that's through there for a strike. Quickly in an 0-2 hole, you're going to have to give something up here in terms of power if you want to put the ball in play with any authority. Got him looking. That's a strikeout. A new arm into the game, the righty, Corey Abbott. I think it's got to be a little tough coming in out of the pen when your guys are trailing so big on the scoreboard. Just doesn't have the same intensity to it, but... He's got to find a way because these batters count the same for his stats, obviously, regardless of the score. Rizzo in the box again, takes a strike. Swings and crushes one. Right field, way back, and gone. That one felt good, and they add a run. It's 11-2. That's exactly the pitch he was looking for. Crushes it and hits it out of the ballpark. Up to the plate steps DJ LeMayhew. First pitch the doesn't ball. find the zone. See, DJ LeMayhew, really good hitter, but as well, defensive versatility. And fittingly enough, he's the first winner of the Gold Glove Award that went to a utility player. He won it in 2022 in the American League. And now two and one. Yeah, but that year, 35 games at first, 41 at second, and 47 at third. Uh, this guy's just got so much versatility, but a great hitter as well. You know, both you and I were surprised the first time that we were hunt. Swing, and this one's blasted. It's got a chance. And caught on the warning track. Not quite enough behind that one. Every day during batting practice, these outfielders get about 10 minutes of balls in the gaps. They practice this, and when the game comes, they make the play perfectly. Next offering is downstairs. One ball, one strike. That yeah. clips the corner. One and two. The one, two. Two, two. Gets a piece and stays alive. Caught him looking for the K. Two outs, base is empty. Trent Munson digs in now. Foul ball. Next offering misses. And a count even one and one. The line of the pitch. And another ball. On the ground, right side, and foul ball. The 2 2. Got him looking. And he's down on strikes for the second time today. We go to the top half of inning number six. And stepping in is the speedy C.J. Abrams. Swing and a miss. Strike one. Well, every pitcher wants run support, and having a lead is nice, but it can be challenging for some guys. I think keeping the mindset to attack instead of trying to be too fine and have too much finesse, go after hitters and get quick outs. Now time called. 
Pitching coach coming out for a meeting as two relievers continue to throw in the bullpen. A new pitcher in the game, number 76. Compared to some days, this is a pretty low leverage appearance for him, so he should be fairly free and easy out there. Still have to keep yourself sharp and attack the strike zone. Now it's going to be Lane Thomas. Swings through that one. 0 oh and 1. And a rope into center field. Base hit. Lead runner to second. So two on and nobody out. He was now all over that one. Off the bat, that one registered at 105 miles per hour, man. That is smoking. And these days you hear it all the time, but the numbers just don't lie. If you can drive a ball like that, more often than not, you're picking up a knock. That one ripped. And gone! An absolute blast to left. And they slice into the lead. It's 11-5. Well, I'm not really sure how he kept that fair. When you're out in front on a breaking ball like that, such a good chance that it's going to hook foul. But not this time. He kept the hands moving forward just long that enough ball. to sneak it inside that foul pole. Ruiz stands in here, takes ball one low. There's 0 for 2 with a pair of strikeouts. Starting to go after it. Now we'll look down to third. He went around, says Rusty Valentine. Ground ball, left side. LeMayhew gets it to first. Now one gone in the top of the six. Next to hit for the Nats, Luis Garcia. One for two. Swing and a miss. And it's 0 and 1. Up the middle, Torres handles. Sends it to first, two out. Two out, space is empty. And now the center fielder, Alex Call. Went down looking on three pitches last time. Let's see if he can be a little more aggressive right here. And first offering is fouled off. Call goes five feet, 11 inches, 28 years old. And he's usually in left field, but today he's patrolling center. Swing and a miss, and he is down on strikes for the third straight at bat. And welcome back. Now here's the switch hitting power threat, Jason Dominguez. And a pitch. Liner, base hit. couple of hits in a row for yeah, him yeah. here. I Second could watch base, base hits like that one all Lane day throw. long, and so could every oh, hitting coach man. in the league. Just a nice line drive into center field. Glaber Torres up to the plate. First yeah. offering, and it just misses. Runner, runner, he's Here's going. the pitch. Runner yeah. goes. Strike in there. Yeah, 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 Safe yeah, at yeah, second, yeah. and he easily steals the bag. Next pitch misses, and a count two and one. Two balls, one strike. At the belt and fires. To third. Fires over to first. One away, bottom of the sixth. Now the youngster Juan Soto. First offering misses badly for ball one. Swing and a miss. One out and a runner at second. Out towards right center. That's well struck. And that one is gone. He powers one out to right field, and they add a pair. It's 13-5.
He's putting on quite the show with the dish here in this one, and he's just so locked in with his swing, and he's just not missing right now. Three homer game, man, it's so special. And I tell you what, it's a lot of fun watching him pull it off as well. Now on the mound for the Nationals, Andres Machado. And with the big deficit on the scoreboard, he almost has to just put that out of his mind. Every outing matters for relievers and their numbers, but I think it's tough to get up for this type of appearance the same way you would for one in a close game. Next pitch way one, upstairs. One. Still only one out here in the inning. Rip to third. Tosses to first. Judge out of the play. So two down now. And here is Oswaldo Cabrera. And the first ball. pitch misses for ball one. One ball, no strike. And delivers outside. Oh. Two will count. Great hitter at the dish. If you're going to miss, you've got to miss outside the zone. You miss inside the strike zone, you'll be asking the umpire for a new baseball. Yeah. On the ground to third. Whips it across, yeah. and that'll do it. Back here at the ballpark, and here's the first baseman, Dominic Smith. And a the pitch. There's yeah. the strike. And strike two. Oh, and two. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. One out. Now yeah, the third baseman, Ildemaro Vargas. Ildemaro Vargas. Yeah. That one's in there, 0 and 1. There's the strike at the knees. 0 and 2. Field 2. Got him looking for the K. Froze him with the heater at the knees. So the lineup flips over. And now here's the Nationals' leadoff man, Stone Garrett. A strikeout and a walk. Lays out, but he can't squeeze it. Now he gets it to the pitcher covering the bag. And they get it out of the play. Welcome back. And here is Anthony Rizzo. Machado back to work. And there's a ball. Oh. Swing and a miss. And a count one, one, and one and one. He can live up in the zone all game if guys will chase it. That's just too much velocity. Hitters got to look down in the zone. Ball right side. Tosses to the pitcher covering the bag. Rizzo out of the play. Now it's LeMayhew up to hit. One for three. First offering misses the mark. And a swing and a miss. One ball, one strike. The pitch. That's the ball. Two balls, one strike. Swing and a miss. That's really strike good. two. Well, and those hitters count sometimes can be a little too aggressive, and a good pitcher will play off of that. He's got to get a better pitch to hit. Swings and misses. The Blew the express the right by his bat for strike three. First, 
Verdugo. The That's next the to hit takes okay. outside. Tried to backdoor him with that slider right there, but just missed off the plate. Good pitch, though. That misses the zone. Two balls, no strikes to count. Two down, nobody on. And a foul ball makes the count two and one. Right-handed reliever. That's down and in. Line drive and makes the play, and that's out number three. Michael King gets the ball now, and he's got a nice lead to work with, so he should come in throwing strikes, attacking these hitters. Now it's the shortstop, C.J. Abrams. And a pitch. There's the strike. Well, that's really the money spot. Down and away, if you can locate that consistently, it's going to be real tough for guys yeah. to square that up. That's what you love to see relievers do coming out of that bullpen. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. Now it's the right fielder, Lane Thomas. First pitch no, just missed. misses. King, a very difficult guy to get hits off of. It's really rare for teams to string stuff together against him. He wins every pitch. And for a hitter, sometimes a victory is just fouling what? off one of his pitches. And here it comes. Goes down, swinging for the strikeout. Had him way out front of the slur. And here's the DH for Washington. Joey Meneses. He's already homered here in this one. In there, and it's 0-1. Unless he beats himself, somehow can't find it, doesn't have the control command that day, oh. you can pretty much forget about it. Going to count one and two. One and As a hitter, there's even more pressure to take advantage of any mistake, right? Yeah, and you're hoping that you know somehow, some way, whether it's a hit by pitch, a walk, something bad happened. Judge settles under it and makes the catch. And that is that. Ready for the bottom of the eighth. Here's the catcher, Trent Munson. The wind of the pitch. And first offering is fouled off. And now the 1. Swing and a miss as he was out front. To the right side, Garcia. In plenty of time to first. Leadoff man is out here in the eighth. Jason Dominguez, the next to hit. First pitch That's doesn't the find the zone. Yeah, that Two skips in the dirt. Not showing great command so far in this at bat. 2 0 count. He's got to execute here, or this could get three ugly. And now 3 and 0. Oh. And a four-pitch walk. Four pitches. That's an easy walk, man. He could have walked me right there, boo. The last one wasn't even close. Here's Glaber Torres. It's softly on the ground to third. On to first. And Glaber Torres retired. Good sinker low in the zone right there and produced exactly what he was looking for. Ball on the ground. Nice ground out. He swings and fouls one off. Two outs and one in scoring position. Move to second. Dominguez back in on the dive. Here's the 0-2. That one missed. Ball. 
And a 1-2 again. And the 1-2 no, no. misses to even the count. This guy's a fun guy to watch taking it bad. He just battles up there. He doesn't take a pitch off at all. Makes it so difficult on the pitchers out there. You can tell they get frustrated with how long it takes to put him away. Now a check no. on him at second. Back safely. Another throw to second. And he's back again. Here comes a 3-2. And a swing and a miss. And that's that. We're back. It's the top of the ninth. And there's a new pitcher on the mound. Jonathan Loisica. And you know, bullpen guys can struggle sometimes when they're called upon with big leads because it just doesn't have the same intensity as a tight game. So we'll see how sharp he is. Your mental toughness matters in situations like this as well. Hebert Ruiz digging in for the Nationals. Here comes a pitch. Yeah. That's in for a strike. Loisica, in his fifth season, he features a sinker, a slurve. Oh, great grab on the dive. Over to first. And that's a great play for the out. Cadillac reflexes on that one. Makes the dive, has to get up. Clean exchange to throw a strike across the diamond. And what a tremendous play. Luis Garcia now at the plate. In there for strike one. Oh, one. That one catches the corner for a strike. Bounce to the left side. Throw on to Rizzo. And a couple of quick outs. That's what a good sinker's designed to do. Get a guy to roll over a little bit, hit the ball on the ground, kill some worms while you're at it. Call. Stands in now, looks at that one inside. One out. Popped up to the left, into foul ground. LeMayhew under it. And that'll do it. Got a big win by eight runs. And when you have that kind of lead, do you make it easier for the pitching staff to come out, make their pitches, pitch to contact, and not worry about giving up the lead? So nice job today all the way around to get the W. And the final here today, 13-5. For Chris Singleton and our entire crew, I'm John Chomby saying so long.